All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at how to do sliding harmonics. Uh, and I do these only on the main harmonic that divides a string into two parts, so an octave harmonic. Um, generally, what I'll do is I'll slide up from first position using a third finger or a fourth finger. And, um, and I'll slide up and I'll just release on that uh, octave harmonic. So this is a little bit more... Um, technically challenging than just a standard harmonic, so I definitely encourage you to check out how to do harmonics to begin with if you're not sure how to do those. Um, but this is a neat way to kind of create a sound that's unique to the stringed instrument. So this is how it sounds. Okay, so you have a, a pitch down here where we're actually fingering the note onto the fingerboard. Um, and you're sliding that up and as you do so you slowly let off the tension until when you get up to the top you're barely touching the the string as you would a normal harmonic and then you release that and as soon as your uh, bow comes off the string again one more time okay so in a song it might sound like this So that was a little bit of Cuckoo's Nest, um, which is also taught on the website. Um, so you can you can kind of hear how it's different than a normal harmonic. So uh, there's not much to it. Again, I've, I've already kind of explained how to do that. But uh, what you want to do is practice sliding up to catch an octave harmonic. Um, your The heel of your hand should strike the instrument. So bringing in those concepts of third position, except we're just a little bit higher. We're in fourth here. Um, so practice that. Practice taking a fourth finger on the A string. So that's an E note. Slide that up all in one bow. Okay, and as you get to the, the top of that, your finger just barely is touching the string. Okay, or with a third finger. You gotta switch fingers halfway through. Okay, you don't actually have to press all the way down. Um, another place you might hear this is like a lime rock. So I'm sliding into that harmonic. So that's the concept. Um, practice on that and then find ways to play those in your, um, in your songs and really um, can be overused for sure. Uh, but it adds a little bit extra um, when you want to spice things up just a little bit. So there you go, the sliding harmonic.